So I'm Dana with Partners Trust in Brentwood, and I just wanted to uh, have a quick conversation with Joni Martin, who is the director of the elementary school at Crossroads in Santa Monica. And uh, Joni's been in the education business for um, over 20 years and thought she'd be a great resource to talk to about education overall in Los Angeles. What have you seen as in, in terms of changes as far as the process, the parents, the children? Well, I think some of the biggest changes in education have to do with testing, the high stakes that testing now demands for children. Um, in the past, it was okay for children to come to school and not necessarily have any skills. Now they have to be drilled and prepped and ready for school and have a bunch of skills before they even arrive. And throughout their educational careers, they have to prove that they can take tests that demonstrate those skills. And the anxiety that that puts teachers through and children through I believe creates unnecessary stress. Mm -hmm. So that's one huge change I see. The second change is that I see children who are far less able to rely on their own abilities to accomplish tasks. They are increasingly seeking the help of the nearest adult. They are less secure about trying things out for themselves because they are accustomed to being supervised almost all of the time. As far as developmental versus traditional and as far as things that we have here in Los Angeles, um, we have public, we've got private, we've got magnet. We Can you sort of talk about those a little bit? There are so many different kinds of schools right now. We have public schools and independent schools. And public schools are those funded by um, the city and state. And in Los Angeles, there's the Los Angeles Unified School D District, and then there are a host of other individual school districts. And they all have certain mandates for testing and showing mm -hmm. achievement that are related to funding. Independent schools are not, do not receive any funds. Um, from the state or from the federal government. So they are really able to make up their own curricula, mm -hmm. and that is quite different. Uh, parochial schools are yet another type of mm -hmm. school, and those schools are often funded by uh, the individual church, diocese, or uh, uh, central offices, mm -hmm. and sometimes receive federal funding too if there are a lot of children in the schools who um, are entitled to it. Um, but they too have their own curricula that they can generate. Mm -hmm. Public schools have a set curriculum right. usually prescribed and a methodology usually prescribed. But in the independent school world, in the, the progressive schools are those schools that are defined by meeting children where they are they're defined by hands-on learning, they're defined by what we call a child-centered approach, and while there are benchmarks for each grade level, children are not expected all to be at a certain benchmark at any one time. We know there's a huge array of development that is mm -hmm. seen in every class. In a tr traditional school, the, the school is, the, the teaching is often more teacher-centered, um, and curriculum focused rather than child focused. If you had one wish for the education system here in LA, not just for LA but for the whole country, okay. I would like to say that if we put the amount of money into education rather than into uh, the Department of Defense, we might have a very different kind of country and I would welcome it. Thank you so much and just so you know, I actually do have two children uh, that go to an independent school and two children that go to a public school. So although these answers are out there for you know all of you, um, I have experienced uh, firsthand both and uh, they're wonderful things uh, in each type. So um, that is it. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Joni. Thank you, Dana. Okay.